yeah, yeah. I would be remiss to not note, immediately after the game, all of the media flocked to Cody Bellinger as though this was some giant redemption song and so on and so forth. The reason I bring this up is because last year in the postseason, Same when Cody thing. Bellinger actually was showing his ass, actually Cody Bellinger was balling out, but he still didn't. He still wasn't more valuable than Mookie Betts. Uh, Corey Seager either, and Corey Seager got the MVP. And I just want to speak on it because nobody will speak on it, and it's unpc to speak on, it, especially if it's you know your team. But I'm a firm believer that if you love something or someone, you can criticize them for their for their flaws. And I love the game of baseball. Speak the but, truth. But they got. I want to shame the devil. I want to speak the truth and shame the devil, Come brother. Come on now, man. <laughs> Come on. Well, open the doors of the church. Let's that's go. Right. <laughs> and there's a problem. Why can't we talk to Mookie Betts after the game? Right. Why can't Mookie Betts hold an MVP when it's clear for baseball people, if you watch the game, he is the X factor that took the Dodgers over the hump. Because not they have Kershaw, not. Who I love. Right, but they have not been able to get over the hump for I don't know how many years. They won eight years in a row. They won the division, whatever it is. He gets there. You win the championship. He shows you how to win. 